All right, guys, welcome to episode 125 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. Got John here with me. Got the dogs put up. You already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell, hit the like button. Leave a comment, share it with a friend, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just show some support. We appreciate those that do. It's fucking Thursday. It's you know Thursday, what I'm saying? Man. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's payday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what dog, are we doing, bro? What are we just doing? Came out of work. My dog, <laughs> my dog just hey, came bro. home. Listen, I just man. came out from a track meet. My dog's going to the track meet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if y'all don't know, I'm a track star. He's a runner. Key. He's a track star. <laughs> oh, yo, my God. Yo, Round of Hold on, yo, bro. That shit hit. was amazing. <laughs> yo. Yo, we got the voices of fucking angels over here. That was a one-hit wonder. Because I don't even think. <laughs> nah, dude made another song, but he sounds the same. You see, bro, he's like Fetty I don't think he ever even intended on being fucking famous. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that. He probably just made that shit playing around or something. I like the know. guy that was like, why are you lying? Why what are you fucking lying? lying? That guy? Oh, yeah. He got famous off that. But he was like, that was a joke. Like You could tell he wasn't fucking being serious. Yeah. You know I mean? That's Fuck true. It. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it, bro. Because that was a good song. It was catchy, bro. No, nah, straight It's like up, chicken bro. noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. All that shit's stupid as fuck, but it's like, it's just catchy. It makes you bob your head, bro. With a Coke on the side. You know what I mean? Coke on the side. Man. Yeah, bro. But listen, man, light your blunt, light your J-pack, your bomb pack, your bowl, get your edibles ready, get your dab rigs ready, whatever the fuck it is that you do, man. Go ahead and get that shit popping, all right? You know how the fuck we do. I'm laying my J right now, man. Gang. Yeah, bro. I'm fucking chilling. I just smoked like three joints before this, so I'm fucking- What you got planned for the week? For the weekend? Yeah. Man, uh, nothing really, bro. You know, I'm just going to start relaxing on the weekends. Uh, you know, Saturdays, I kind of just get my head right. Facts. Maybe get some head. <laughs> Sunday. Get your head right. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And then Sunday, we do we do podcast shit. You know, we brainstorm together. You know what I mean? We, <laughs> we talk about podcast shit. Facts. We work. We work. And uh, yeah, that's about it, bro. Word, bro. And get ready hey, for man. the week. Round of applause to everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know. Shout out to everybody that's going out, but shout out to everybody that enjoys staying home and just fucking enjoys, you know, a simple fucking weekend at the house. And they like fucking They're and both they good. like staying home. They're both good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like some weekends you want to go out. You're like, fuck it. I'm in the mood. Some weekends, you're like, fuck that, man. I'm going to stay home. I'm going to watch a few movies, a documentary, get high as fuck on edibles and just relax. And relax. Facts. Yeah, right. that ass, bro. There's nothing wrong with relaxing, man. Sometimes your body needs a rest. Yeah, bro. Sometimes your body needs a rest, but you know what needs a rest. What? It's these women that uh that feel like they need to be taken care of. You know what I'm saying? Just because they're bad. Oh uh, like there's a difference to yeah. me. There's a difference between a woman that's like, yo, like, fuck you, buy me a Birkin and, and pay my apartment and my car bill just because I'm bad and I'm fucking you. Yeah. Like there's a difference between that and then there's a difference between taking care of a woman that's your your wife or something. Unfortunately, Somebody that deserves it. Yeah. You know unfortunately, I mean? like I feel like there's always going to be that guy that's going to take care of a woman because she's beautiful, drop dead gorgeous. You see what I'm saying? So it's always going to be like that. And I feel like we're just getting into that mentality of like, oh, if, you're, if she's just good looking, then that's just, she's just blessed. Then she should just not yeah, be independent. Yeah, she should just have like, a, a free way in life. And yeah. You know, sometimes it works out like that, but you can't be mad if it doesn't because that's yeah, not normal yeah. life. Yeah, exactly. It's like, bro, like you can't always just walk through life, everything being handed to you and simple for you because you look good. Yeah. And, and that's guess just, what? It looks that's just, fade. That's just what it is, though, even for jobs and shit like that. Like most places will judge you off, you know, what you look like. You know what I mean? Like, like who do you think? I feel like the, the better looking women have a better opportunity than the ugly women sometimes. And depending on the job, depending on and the who's, job, and yeah. who's managing, and who who's a sick fuck, and who's a and who's a pervert, and who's not. That's a big fact. You that's see what I'm saying? Fact. Like, I don't know, but that's that's just the way it is. Unfortunately, it's like I feel like like with Tupac, nothing, it's like that's just the way it is. I feel like it's nothing wrong with it, bro. As long like if it's like it's I said, bad, if it's your woman, if it's your wife, whatever yeah. she earned that, whatever like y'all worked, y'all helped build each yeah. other up, and now she ha y'all have kids, and she's yeah. staying home, like shit like that. And if it's she's like, bad, yo, then it's a plus. Yeah, exactly. Like it's a plus, but it's like I I don't see the point of taking care of a woman like paying all her bills yeah. every month. Like, just because she looks good and she fucks me. Yeah, it's not like the you know 1940s, like, when the women just stayed home and they were stay-home moms. Like, we live in a different time now where it's like... We do. 
We it's do. like, come on, women. I'm women, not opposed to that. Though. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not like, either. I'll take but, care if I make enough money to where you don't got to work and we're everybody's comfortable. We're making bread. I'll be yeah, the breadwinner. That's yeah. what men are supposed to do. Yeah, exactly. Ex- yeah, like that's just our fucking job. Yeah, yeah, you know. But it's like, like I said, I just don't see the point of it if it's just because you look good. Like oh, okay. if you're not bringing something next, if you're not a wife, if you're not my wife, I'm not taking care of your bills. Yeah. Plain and simple. It's just like you know how people, it's just people's fucking um, their preference in life. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah, people, like, yeah, it's like it's it's like everybody has their own like like you be saying, bro, it ain't tricking if you got it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Some guys, that's how some guys feel, bro. Where yeah. it's like, you know what, bro? I'm literally a millionaire. I make twenty million a year. Yeah. And I could afford to pay this bitch's hundred thousand dollar rent a year. Yeah. To fuck her. Yeah. Like I don't care. It's yeah. not affecting my pockets at all. Yeah. And that's just, cool. Yeah, that's but, cool. As long as you just know deep down yeah, inside. Like, everybody like, knows what yeah. the business is. But yeah. even like I feel like that, I don't know, man. We're all humans. Everybody wants to act like everybody's not built for everything. You might try that and then feel empty still. Be like, yes. damn, bro, yeah, like yeah. I'm paying this girl shit. Like she don't really fuck with me. I know she don't fuck with me. That's what I she said. She's just like, like nice looking and yeah. she she treats me right because I pay her bills. But yes. besides that, it's like that's why I said, like, you just gotta know like what it is deep down inside. Like when I said, like, yo, you to know what it is, like, don't get your feelings hurt because she's when the money's gone, she's gone, bro. Facts. You see what I'm saying? Like that's, that's not a real that woman. type of woman. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I would never take care of that type of woman because yep. if the money's not there, you're not there. So let's just not even have you here in the first place. Yeah. You know, a woman that's gonna hold you down, a woman that is, you know, she's loyal, and you know what I'm saying. Y'all gotta prove shit to each other. Like you gotta prove loyalty to each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So once that happens, it's like, yeah, babe, you stay at home, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I'll go to work. I'll come home, and we'll chill. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, but. I don't know. Guys, y'all go down in the comments. Y'all let us know what it, you know, what opinions y'all have on that. If it's tricking, if you got it, would you take care of a woman? No, nah, I mean, you know what I'm saying if you're a woman, would you let a man take care of you? Yeah. Like, let us know. I mean, my opinion on it, I mean, like, yeah, if if you it's not really tricking, you know, if you got it, bro. Like if you got it. You know what I mean? Like if you got it, got it. You know what I mean? If you don't got it, then it's like, ah, uh, you know. I yeah, know. I see. I've yeah. seen. I see it, bro. Like yeah. I see the reason why a man would. It's like, yo, I run businesses. I don't have time to wine and dine you to do this and that. Yeah, I just want to come. I want to fuck. Yeah. I want to leave. And that's get it. back to business. And that's it. And get back you know to work. Like that's it. And you know, it, I get it, but you got to know, know the bro. difference between a real woman that's really there for you and one that's not. That's just what the fuck it is, bro. Yeah, bro. I just personally wouldn't. I personally wouldn't do it, bro. Especially yeah. knowing that she ain't really down for you. Like yeah. it's a waste of in that yeah. in that sense, it's a waste of money at it's that like, point. Yeah. Because if I go fucking if something happens to me tomorrow, you're gone. And all the fucking hundreds of thousands of dollars that I spent are gone. Yeah. So that's a waste of money. And yeah. it's like for a piece of pussy? Yeah. For nah. a piece of pussy? Nah, yeah. Like they're like, bro, there's girls out here that are fuck you for free. Yeah, I know. Like for real, just nah. because they li- actually like you. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that's so buy you a bottle like, and shit. Yeah, like come on, bro. <laughs> like you gotta I don't know, man. It's different. It's different. But listen, man, something that people got to get in their heads, bro. A lot of some people have a harder time dealing with it than others, but people really don't care about your problems, bro. Everybody got them, bro. Everybody goes home to their own struggles. Everybody has their own skeletons in their closet. Everybody has their own fucking problems. So nobody wants to hear you cry about yours. Yeah. You know, and even if you do cry, like it's okay to like really like talk about your problems, but like don't don't overdo it. Or do it with people that actually care. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you're do it with your friends, your family that actually care. And even some friends and some family won't care. You know what I'm or saying? Like but if it's you like, do it too much, where it's like people are really not gonna really like give a fuck even more because you do it all the yeah, time. Yeah, you're crying fucking wolf, bro. You're crying yeah. wolf, man. Like if you you know what I'm saying? If you just complain and cry about every other little thing, bro, when there's something that's serious, people are gonna think that it's just like it's whatever because you cry about everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like like you just, you know what I'm saying? Like, people don't care about your problems. You can't be out here crying to everybody about them, and nobody really gives a fuck at the end of the day, because guess what? Like you, you still got to figure your shit out, and they still got to figure their shit out. So, what the fuck are we talking about here? Yeah, you know what that I'm saying? Like, what do you like? It's a, I don't know, man. Like everybody's different how they express themselves and shit like that. But like, I don't know. I just don't. Listen, everyone's man. different, bro. So yeah, everybody's yeah. different. As a man, it's it's okay to be emotional, but it's, it's like, don't be a bitch, nigga. Yeah, shit. bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, like like tighten up, man. Like control, like. 
being an adult, period, not even being a man, being an adult, you should be in, in control of your emotions. Yep. Your emotions shouldn't control you. Yep. So, like, even if you feel a certain type of way, you might, like, just control it, bro. Yeah, just control it. It's like yourself. getting angry and, like, just going and punching somebody because they make you angry. Bro, control that. Like, you could not punch them in the face. It doesn't matter how angry you are at the moment. You could choose to not do that. Same thing. It's like you could choose to not fucking, yeah. like, cry about some shit. Like, that just does. get it done, bro. It is what it is. Be a fucking man about it. Let your nuts hang and that's that. Like, straight the fuck up. Yeah, let your nuts hang. Do you hang, hang long? Do they wobble to the floor? Do they shine in the light? Do they play no music all day? And I'm running in the night. Hey, hey, hey. People don't know. Yo, these the kids remix. have no fucking idea about the. They'll be like, yo, that's some whack ass shit. That is, a, hey, bro, but you weren't there. Yeah. <laughs> now, facts, you weren't there. Nah, for real. You weren't there when we You had weren't the, cool enough to hang out with us when that was out. Nah, <laughs> You weren't there when, you, when we had the double T's. You had the white and the and you know the oh, blue. Oh, yeah, like the it, white it, and the, the black. Yeah. You were a fu- You're in, in you're in jail now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Like, come on, man. We used to have the rosaries hanging low, bro. We had the fucking the fucking wired fucking headphones for your CD players. Oh, bro. Listen, the wired headphones get caught on them doors, bro. Yeah. It's over for them bitches. You're going to have to go ask your parents to go to Walmart and get another one. I remember the gummy ones. Those were my favorite ones. The gummy ones. The gummy ones. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Damn, bitch. My dog ain't even smoking it. He's over there fucking choking on some gas. <laughs> what the fuck? Nah, bro. It fucking, you know how when you eat something, it just goes down the wrong tube or you drink something. Yeah, and you're just that like... shit was stuck in your throat for the last fucking <laughs> <laughs> fucking half a cheeseburger in the back of his fucking console. <laughs> what the fuck? Nah, bro. Uh, I, used to, I used to eat out all the time, bro. And I just like chilled out. I used to eat out like a lot, a lot. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man. I we used eat to go out to pretty that. much every fucking day. We used to go to the the the, the Chinese spot. Those Chinese oh, spots bro, are the best. Chinese, but that shit will, bro, it'll fuck you up. They You'll said, be hungry in like 30 minutes. Just the, you know. Yeah, well, they said like the what do you call it? The inspections, the state inspections, the food inspection <laughs> will come by and they'll say like, "Oh, this place is gross, bro." Yo, and listen. then they shut it down. Then they shut it down eventually. Oh, That's why no. they shut down. Yeah. Where? Where? The Which one? The one we used to go to. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, man. That shit the honey was chicken. fucking sad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They fucked up Y'all closing like that shit down. We used to go to CC's. Yo, CC's is lit, but I guess it gave Toby the shit so bad he never wants to go back. You remember he was like, "Shit, yeah. fuck." Well, we went. We went the next yeah, day. Yeah, no, I went like the next day. I was we like, "Yo, this thing is bugging, bro." This crust is buttery as fuck. This shit tastes good. Nah, I never used to get sick from there. I don't know, bro. People are different, bro. Everybody's fucking sensitive to shit. Nah, facts, bro. You know what? what's funny, though, man? Well, not really funny, but something that people need to be more sensitive to is fucking stalkers, right? Like, it's, there's a lot of people. Stalkers. People have stalkers, bro. Like... A lot of women have stalkers. Well, I wonder if men get stalkers too. Oh, oh we, yeah, we, there is actually. Yeah, actually, I do know one. Stalked, oh, I do know a stalker. She was a stalker, not to me, to my homie. Well, and it listen, was creepy. Bro, if you're a fucking stalking ass bitch or stalking ass nigga, bro, stop that. No, she was creepy. You can, yo, you I'll know what she did? Stalker, you know what she did? She fucking left a voicemail saying, "Hey, it's me. I'm here." I'm in front of your door. Like four in the fucking morning. But bitch, we fucking broke up like two years ago. Yo, listen. What are you doing? Get off my property before <laughs> something really bad happens to you. And then she comes out and like takes a shit on the fucking driveway and shit. Like, man, I wish. Oh, no, no, no. She needs to be fucking yeah, locked it, in a mental it, institution. It, it, it There's was, something wrong with that bitch. I don't know if she was taking a shit. It was a piss. I'm, I'm, I might be Whatever you're doing, yo. Go. <laughs> no, for real. Whatever it is that you're doing, bro, get the fuck out we of my got, house. We got to have somebody call in. We got some crazy motherfuckers going through some shit yeah, right no, now, bro. And I'd be bro. thinking like, damn, bro. I th- now, I'm, listen, I'm, man. Like give this. us a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Give us a couple weeks. You know, we're going to have new new chairs, new fucking microphones, have some more guests come through. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's going to change up a little bit. We've been growing little by little, but it's time to invest a little more in the next yeah. couple months, man. Because that, that way we can have some of y'all come through and tell your crazy ass stories in person, bro. Yeah. Yeah, straight. And up. if people don't want to be on camera, guess what? We you can just fucking call in. We don't yeah, give a fuck. If you're across it. the fucking country yeah. and you want to call in and you guys watch us, then yeah, man, we more than welcome. Let us know, man. Let us know for sure. But yeah, man, stalkers, bro. It's, yes. it's one of those things, bro. That shit's like a pandemic. Motherfuckers, <laughs> motherfucking stalking girls. 
girl stalking guys. Yeah, it's like like, like standing outside shit. your house, like waiting for you, like hey, like paparazzi, like hey, hey Jessica, come here, oh Jessica, God. come here. And I'm just trying to get, like she's just trying to get in the car. <laughs> Imagine that, and she's just like, what the fuck? And she got to do a restraining nah, order. I'd have to like probably like brandish my weapon. What if a girl was like, you have to, <laughs> and be- if you don't fucking leave, I might shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> what if a girl's like, oh my God, if you're not with me, I'm going to kill myself. Hey, listen, man, we all have choices to make in life, okay? I hope you don't make that choice, but that's not <laughs> a choice for me to make. You feel me? My choice to make is not being with Would you. Would you feel like shit? If she actually did it? Yeah, like, oh, and then, like, you just bro, feel guilty. Like, I, uh, of course, man, the human in you is going to be like, bro, like, fuck, man. But ultimately, bro, that person has something wrong with them mentally already. Like, if they're actually willing to kill themselves over something like that, it's like, you have a chemical imbalance somewhere, something was off somewhere. So, I can't do much about that regardless. Like, Jesus. But I would feel bad, of course, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm a human. I'm not a piece of shit. Yeah, bro. Like, that's- I'd feel bad, but- No, nah, I, I just- Yeah, I think it's just a chemical imbalance. Like, anybody imbalance. that's ever been in that situation, bro, I feel like you shouldn't blame yourself. Like, you ever seen that Adam Sandler movie? With the, yeah. uh, he's like, oh, that's just my fucking ex. She's fucking crazy fucking bitch. <laughs> fucking, she comes up, she fucking walks in, starts yelling at him, and then she starts making out with him, and then she starts crying. And then, and then, <laughs> and then he's, that's the type of girl that John wants. <laughs> nah, it's like, what the fuck, bro? Nah, nah, I don't need that shit, bro. Hell no. Uh, I never had a girl do that. Ever. My dog needs that toxic fucking love. Nah, bro, I'm done with that shit, bro. I got fucking, I got to Oh my God. Yeah. This nigga's been talking for 125 episodes about how <laughs> he needs a toxic bitch. And now all of a sudden. I grew up. Wow. You know what? Give him a round of applause, bro. Give him a round of applause <laughs> you for know growing what up. You know what I like to do, though? What's up? Something I don't fucking regret is having crazy ass hotel sex, bro. I don't know oh, about you. Dude, if you yeah, ain't yeah. fucking clapping them cheats. Cheats. Yo, but they're no. Nah, listen, <laughs> clapping <laughs> the sheets and Capital the cheeks. The cheeks in the sheets. Yeah, but look, facts. guys, listen, man. When you're younger, you know you don't really think things through. I swear, bro. I used to pull into parking lots. <laughs> no cap. I used to pull into parking lots, bro, and fuck bitches in the back of the mule. I used to do in that the car, in car too. Yeah. It's bad. When you luck. grow up, guys. Listen, it's if you're luck. 18, 19, 20, that's a tr- that's a charge. You might not think of it like that, but if a cop catches you in a parking lot somewhere where you, you know what I'm saying, you're doing something, that's a, that's a charge. Go to a hotel. Hotels are way funner. I don't think you, you could put the beds together. I don't think you can get a hotel here unless you're 21. <laughs> hey, man. Well, yeah, so, well, it is what it is. If you got an older brother, tell him to fucking know, hook yeah, you up. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like find somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pay somebody at, at the hotel to, or around the hotel to fucking if, put it under if, their name. If you don't got no older friends, and get some. That is facts. But I hotels, always grew up having hotels, older friends. Man, yeah, me too. All I had friends that were like three, five years older than me. Yeah. That is. But yeah, bro, like, listen, man, hotel sex to me, you're right, bro. It's the craziest sex, bro. It's the craziest sex. Like, I've put both beds together. And you don't like a super extra large fucking bed, and we fucking all over this. You don't got rolling over yeah. and fucking flipping over. Yeah, you don't got to fucking clean up in the beginning. <laughs> And you don't gotta clean up at the end. You can put the little tags in. Leave me the fuck alone. Facts. And have a good fucking have day. You ever have had, a good night, bro. Have you ever had such a good night, bro, where you had it like just take that charge for another day? What you mean? Like you was like you was fucking whatever. You had such a good night with the girl. You're like, nah, bro, we ain't going nowhere for the. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for real, I had to, bro. I yeah, had I've to. I've done that too, where it's yeah. like, nah, I, I, I'm gonna just have to stay one more day. Nah, there was one time. <laughs> remember that one time I got that hotel and I was like, man, she fucking, she just dipped on my ass, bro. <laughs> this bitch just dipped. Yo, we pulled up at like two in the morning. Yeah, and fucked up. I was, I fucked was so up. fucked up when I got there. I was like, "Damn, she left." He's like, "Yeah." I was like, "So nobody's taking this bed?" He's like, "No." Nah. I was like, "I'm sleeping right here." No, for real, clean ass bed, not even that touched. Shit was, nobody had touched. Mine I was, was like, "Yo, I'm laying up. right here, bro. I'm too fucked up to go back home." No, nah, for real, dead ass. It was like a fucking little mini vacation, but it was like a motel vacation <laughs> for like twelve hours. Yeah, <laughs> bro, that was a shitty situation. We've been in some fucked up fucking motels, bro. Yeah, oh, bro, <laughs> we've talked about, about it before, but we're gonna talk about it again because it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. There was one time, man. Shout out to Trey. He invited us. He's like, "Yo, I'm at this spot. We pull up, right?" I'm thinking it's a, it's a hotel. It's a decent hotel. This nigga is at the Trap Lodge. 
Not the travelage, the trap a lot. Trap a lot. I was bitch. like, damn, bitch. We pull up, bro. This fucking niggas making plays. Niggas looking for niggas to buy shit from. All types of shit. Yeah, I'm like, y'all. Crazy. The, the I, had my gun on, I, the, I had my gun on me the whole fucking the time. The swimming pool was fucking green. green yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, it was a trap hole. Yeah, I was like, yo, all right, whatever. Kids playing in it. Yeah, so. I was like, all right, well, cool. I was like, that's disgusting. Yeah, y'all got fucking gonna hurt Pacific Lakes now. <laughs> but. Yo, oh, I we fuck around. We go, whatever. we go to the fucking hotel room. We're just cooling though. It was cool. All of a sudden, bro, Trey's like, bro, y'all ain't hot. Nobody really felt hot though. We're like, nah. He's like, I don't know, bro. I, I think I'm, I'm not tripping. I think it's hot. So we just sit there for another twenty minutes. Fucking, Everybody starts filling it. We're all fucking we're sweating. Drinking. It's we're fucking all fucking degrees. Yeah, it's fucking hundred degrees. I feel degrees like we're, we're little Haiti, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we got fucking kids in the fucking swamp. We got fucking yo, nah, facts, bro. hot ass weather. We got fucking uh, Zimbabwe. Then, fucking. Yo, bro, and then, nah, for real. Then we fucking like we're like, yo, nah, this shit is fucked up. Like you got to get another room. So he went to the office. He's like, yo, can I get my money back? I want to go somewhere else. Nah, she, for real. She's like, nah, bro. You've already been here for like four hours or some stupid shit. He's like, so I have to. She's like, yeah, you have to stay here. The only thing we could do is give you another room. So <laughs> like <laughs> before that even happened, though, bro, like she's like, yo, I'm going to just send somebody out there to fix your AC, bro. If we can't fix it, then we'll send you to another Yeah, room. I remember that. Bro, this guy. He walks up into the fucking room upstairs. Yo, this fucking guy, bro. I swear to God, he had just gotten out of county jail. He was Bob the Builder from jail. He had just gotten out of jail. Yeah, facts. And he walked up there, bro. He said, y'all the, y'all the AC? Yeah. Trey's like, yep. He's like, he walked. He didn't say shit else, bro. He grabbed his nuts and walked in there slow as fuck. He looked at the AC. what do he do, John? He's like, man, this shit. Uh. He kicked the shit. You're, yeah, you don't remember kicked, that? Yeah, he kicked yeah, the shit kicked and the- like... Ice fell out from the bottom of that <laughs> He's shit. Like, and we're all shit, like, this shit broke. And he's like, this shit ass. That's what it is. <laughs> he, that's exactly how he said it. He's like, this, this shit, shit is ass. ass. That's what, that's what it is. <laughs> and he, he's like, I'm going to go get y'all another AC. <laughs> and walked out. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck is this nigga talking another about? AC. Another AC. Bro, he's going to. I don't know. I was like, yo, yeah. this thing is going to steal from the hotel next nah. door and come back. Nah, we tried so, to get yeah. our money back, but they, they gave him another yeah, room. Yeah, they gave him another room. The other room was chilling. But <laughs> yeah. that little experience right there was one of the funniest things that ever. Yo, we had we never laughed so hard together as a group. Nah, that was the We laughed thing. so fucking hard once he left. I never Bro, seen like, this. nigga is going to stab somebody. <laughs> you don't give a fuck about this job. Bro. <laughs> I was so sketched, bro. <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god! I was like, "Does this nigga even work here, bro?" Bruh. So, yo, but the funniest part is that nigga left and never came back. He just left work. You remember we went to the office? We're like, "Yo, this nigga said he's bringing an AC." She's yeah. like, "An AC, bringing an AC." <laughs> this nigga left. Yeah, <laughs> he never came back. And I don't know, man. That was like a one star, bro. Like a one star. Yo, was... y'all get zero, bro. <laughs> Negative one. Matter of fact, nah, bro. I've seen some shit, bro. I've stayed in some hotels, bro. Listen, I've stayed in some shit hotels too, but that was bad, bro. That was a horrible experience. I was like, oh shit. I was bro. like, nigga, I was I, glad I, I wasn't paying for did nothing. I, did Trey I lock, was pissed. Did I lock my fucking car? Like, oh my God. Guy like, ass. <laughs> fucking guy ass. Nah, my car's starting to fucking leak on the roof, bro. No cap. <laughs> the sunroofs? Nah. It's probably. You it's have like, a sunroof. Right? Yeah, but it's not coming from the sunroof. It's from like the window on the top. Oh, gotcha. It, it's probably just not the, the window, but the it's like a I know patch. what you mean. No, no, no. It's it's not the actual window. It's like a, like the rug, like the roof, the actual roof, bro. It's not even. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a fucking. I thought it was like the rubber on the window. No, oh, that's fine. Fuck your the, shit up. It's the actual fucking roof Got of the car. So I don't know what's going on. I need gotta, make, yeah, you gotta I need get a super glue that bitch or something. Nah, bro. <laughs> yeah, get that shit checked out, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Nah, but you know what's crazy, bro? Girls with glasses, man. I don't oh, know what shit. it is about girls with glasses. That bro. shit fog up. Hey, no, nah, look, yeah, look. <laughs> Y'all not smarter. <laughs> you look smarter. <laughs> You're not smarter just because you put them bitches on. You look smarter. That's it. That's it. They're not actually. And some of y'all, some of, some of y'all look good. Some of y'all rock them. Some of y'all don't. That's my thing. Them fucking nineteen seventies big ass glasses. All of y'all can't rock that shit. Nah, that's my thing with the glasses. The reading glasses. I'm like, oh, you look like that fucking uh, bad librarian or that fucking like that naughty fucking teacher or some shit. Like, I get that type of vibe, bro. That's my type of shit. Like, I like girls with glasses, but but some, some of, of y'all are, can't rock it. 
That's all I'm saying. Some, some of y'all can. look really, really, no, really no, good. No, no, some of y'all, yeah, dead ass. Some of y'all, it's like, I actually, like, don't take your glasses off. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it's like some women I've been with, like, they had that glasses type of thing. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, you know, they were embarrassed to take, like, it's like they didn't, they actually needed them, too. Like, it's like, well, you know. bitch, they're fucking blind. But they like. <laughs> Yeah, they look good, but you know, no, some of them don't like it. You know, they don't. Of they course. don't like it. You know, that's why I get like contacts and shit. Yeah. Like that. Yo, Pedro, <laughs> shout out to Pedro. This nigga bought like fucking contacts for like thirty days, and he tried them for one day. I was like, nigga, it took me like ten minutes to put one fucking contact in, and I never used them again. Well, he has fucking little baby hands. <laughs> he does that Burger King hands. <laughs> You don't remember that? The, <laughs> the Big Mac and the fucking. That was a good commercial. That was funny. That was when shit was actually funny and entertaining. Yeah, when now it's were like fucking bitch made. Somebody will fucking sue now. Yeah. I have small hands and I feel discriminated no, now, against. No, it's not. Now it's just like it's either people a black cry guy about or it, it's bro. E- no, it's either a black guy or a white guy. Just people doing will what, cry about anything. Just now. eating sandwiches. Don't cry about anything. 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 I promise you, bro. You could talk. You could go on social media right now and be like, "Fuck vegans," and you're gonna get attacked. My father was a vegan and he fought in World My War II. Like, who gives a fuck, bro? My like, father <laughs> was a fucking hell of a fucking guy. <laughs> Do you hear me? Don't you ever fucking disrespect him again. You know who Johnny Cash is? <laughs> Piece of shit. Oh, man. Nah, bro. Nah, I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what, though. We, we are. Yeah, nah. I'll tell you what, man. It's been <laughs> fun. It's been real. It's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. Yeah, All right, we real. out. We, we out appreciate it. everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell. Go down in the description. Get yourself some merch. Leave a comment. Share it with a friend. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever. Yeah. But we appreciate you. We hope you have a good weekend. God bless. Take care. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.